Hey everybody, this is Big City Drinks. I'm Ace. This is Alex. What's up? What do we have here today? Well, today we have an, our first rye, actually, of the channel. Our first um, rye. Not a full, full rye. This one's a finished rye. Mm. But because we had a earlier talk about of earlier bourbon that we were kind of so-so about. Well, at least you were more than I was. Didn't like it too much. I We're talking about that same bourbon. I... We're gonna we're gonna come with a little more of a redemption story. Okay. We're gonna go with High West Gibby Kaye. Oh, if I recall, you told me here discontinue this one or am yeah. I, no. This is a rarity in itself. Uh, this brand does not exist anymore under the High West line. I believe 2019 was the last year that they made it. Really? Uh, yeah. 20, wow. 2019, 2020 was the last year that they had. Uh, I'm pretty sure more leaning towards 2019. Uh, so they stopped producing it. I'm not really sure. Uh, hopefully they'll bring it back once in a while. Now I don't expect it to be like, hey, but maybe a limited release once in a while. I would love to because it's one of my favorite bottles. The label is real cool. The label itself is probably one of the things that got to me. I thought it was amazing. It's like I, we talked about this before in the old High West coming out of Park City, Utah, that they have the nice little, uh, nice little etched bottles here, and then the it has like an old style poster on the other ones. So which I think is the uh, old school the one we were talking about before in the bourbon uh. it has like the old school uh, wanted poster. But this one itself is a little bit more special uh, because this is the cowboy on it, but. If I remember correctly, um, this is an actual painting that is in a museum in Wyoming. Get out of here. Yeah, so this is this is the actual artwork that they got from an actual museum in Wyoming. Uh, and this is the exact same picture. So that's what I like about it. It's a really cool picture. It's a really, like, it has that old school American West type of situation, which is what I enjoy from High West. Uh, and it's, uh, finished in, what is it? Uh, finished in vermouth and searing barrels. Uh, so. What is the percentage, by the way? The percentage on this one is 46, so it's about 94? Mm. 92, actually. 92, so. It's not uh, bad. It's a nice, small, um. It's a nice small rye. It's like rye is a little bit great for this for the winter because they kind of warm you up a little bit more. Has a little bit more spice. Yeah. Uh, the fact that this one's a finished rye uh, is one of the reasons why it's one of my favorites. Uh, I, I like. I try to sip this as little as possible because it's discontinued, and unless they say, "Hey, we're doing another one," it's gonna be really hard for me to get. And I'm gonna when I. When I see this bottle go, I am going to really be sad. Now, bring up the old one that we had, if you don't mind. Oh, oh and just a side note, uh, the Midwinter's Night is also from... Ugh, that's Carson. another for another story for a different yeah. day. This High West, uh, the American Prairie, look, not a fan. I wasn't a fan. I thought it was okay. But, put it away. The Zipikaye, will it redeem the name, the brand? Oh, for the High West? I think so. I Like I said, I personally enjoy it. Uh, I was kind of disappointed that they got discontinued. Uh, if I remember, it's not... So, the Rendezvous Rye, I believe, is what's made... It's what's finished into this uh, Midwinter Nights. That's the high, That's the Rendezvous. I'm trying to remember which one's the one that the... Uh, Yippie Kaye is coming from, but I think it might have been from another another one of their other bourbon, their other rye lines. Mm. Uh, I don't think it's the double rye, but it doesn't matter. It's to me, it's it's an amazing, it's an amazing drink. Okay, why don't I ask you about how much did it cost you? If you could remember, uh, this is a this, while back, right? This one might have been. I want to say somewhere about maybe 70 79 Oh. Uh, at this point, I really don't know what the price value is because it doesn't exist. If you find it somewhere and it's like 70 bucks, I'd pick it up. Uh, I think the MSRP might have been around 70 So 
<laughs> Look, definitely. You're, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna see this bottle unless High West, unless High West says otherwise. So if you find this bottle and you're and you think it's a reasonable price to have, go ahead and have it. I buy it. I probably would recommend it to you. Uh, well, I think if I remember correctly, this actually might actually have been the double rye that's finished in those uh, port bar in those uh, vermouth barrels. But then that's the problem with double rye because I think when we talked about the old prairie, they they double rye does uh, different um, different the black label ones. Oh yeah. So that kind of takes away from the Yippie Kaye if that's what they're doing. But uh, like I said, it's a finished rye. Personally, I enjoy it, so that's the reason why I want to show, I want to bring this and share it with you. Pour me a glass, of course. <laughs> so and you know. also, uh, their glass is always so cool. Yeah, it's always fun. It's not just uh, the high west as well. You're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna enjoy that. Look at this. You're gonna oh, enjoy man. that cork smell. Oh. Am I correct? Yes. Am I correct about that smell? It's just Wait, not too much on mine. I I. The rye. There you go. <laughs> you, you don't have that much experience on the rye. On the so. rye, this, I don't have too much experience, but let's go easy. Um, but it is, like I said, and outside of the art, outside of the art label, outside of the yeah. thing, the I've always find it. I think the vermouth helps it. Like it's such an amazing. One thing I wanted to add for anybody that sees the bottle and wants to buy the bottle. Don't be discouraged about this batch number that it has. Oh, the uh, I'll explain it to you guys. Yeah, because uh, actually this goes a long way too. A lot of what, uh, um, a lot of what the High West is. This batch is eighteen C twenty two. Uh, so actually this bottle is actually from 2018. That's what the eighteen means. So whenever you see something at the beginning, it's the month, it's the year actually, and then. C22 is probably like a uh, label, uh, lot number, and all that other stuff. So you're going to try to be like the first one is definitely the year. So 18, 19, 20, all that other stuff is going to be for the year that they did it. And then the rest of the stuff is like warehouse and things like that. So that's the one thing I can tell you from the High West. At least I know about it on the High West line. Okay. There's now, oh, wait a second. Whoa. Now you're now you're getting. Wait a second! <laughs> I get it. Oh, oh, oh. This is why I wanted to bring two. I told you this thing. What are you getting? It's like heaven here. This is. <sighs> is that vanilla? No. See, <laughs> it has maybe a hint of vanilla, but it's not a hint of vanilla. I can tell you exactly what it is. Okay. What what I get from this? When I smell this, I picture myself. Out in a field of like wild flower, like wild flowers. Oh, and you're like, you're just enjoying the air. It's like the wind. And you just, it's like a very flowery smell. Like you're just out in the open. Like you're out in the west, in the high, in the old west, gotcha. or the high west of the mountains, or wherever it is, Montana, Wyoming. Yeah. You're just in a nice open field and you're just smelling the grass smelling this, the wild grass flowers. is that I was gonna that was the first thing I was gonna say then it smells grass? like it yeah. like, smells like the open doors man yeah, okay. I, I, not, like, not necessarily grass I get more like wildflowers and mm -hmm. wildflowers uh, vanilla no leather not a chance on this mm -hmm. one I don't, I don't even get any leather on this gotcha uh, that vermouth is coming out really, yeah. Like it's really coming oh, out, and it's it's, it really, it's hard. It's really strong too. Well, the, oh, the rye itself, the rye. Has, the rye itself is like usually very spicy. It's very, it has its own little things, but it's just like I said, it's just really good for for me at least. Okay, my friend. All right. Cheers. <sighs> Let's go. Oh boy. Right. Oh wow. <laughs> right. You get a nice The flowers. I'm getting a lot more flower now. Like it's a wow. So you get a really good hint. Um you get no back burn. No. So you, no. You zero no, burn. No, no burn. No. no it, burn. it doesn't go down 
No, like you get you get smooth. that you get that nice spiciness like mm. right at the very beginning. It's like it's a, it's a good hit of spice. Oh yeah, mint. I got a little bit of mint. Could be. Well, actually, yeah, that's probably the rye though. Like the okay. rye really has that give that that really big spice, and I guess the finish itself, the barrels that it was finished, it picked up a lot of the old like the flavor of the uh, the vermouth and the syrah. So that's probably what you're smelling, like you're you're really tasting, or sm like you really, yeah, you're really tasting it on this. So it has it just that like a different thing. Like next time we have a rye yeah. that you we're gonna review another rye, and this one's gonna be a pure rye. Yeah, you're gonna see the complete difference because normal ryes usually have this very thick raw like like spiciness characteristic to it. It, it, this one is just a smooth ride. It's pins and needles on rye. That's the description I can best describe. But it's not to that extreme that it's harsh. It is. It, it doesn't go down hard. It's not too spicy. It's just well balanced. Yeah, it is, and, and that's what it is. Like, it's weird that you would like. It's weird that they're. Their label is a guy like really on a Bronco and he's like trying to tame the Bronco. Ah. When. The metaphor. I the, got it. <laughs> that, that, that might be a metaphor, but it's not the metaphor that you're getting out of the bourbon. No. Or the, out of the whiskey. It's it's a smooth ride. It's like. Yeah. It's almost like the Rendezvous Rye and the Yippie Kaye are on different. Like the label should be the other way around. Like the higher, like the Rendezvous Rye should be, because it's a Rye, should have the Buck and Bronco, while this one should be just a guy galloping around in a horse. Cause <laughs> that's exactly what you get. This is like an easy ride, uh, like finished, like for a finished ride, this is amazing. Call me crazy. Why am I thinking like I just could go well with a steak? Yeah, I, I don't I think. know if it's just like I feel yeah, like I'm not in. Remember, we're in New York. I don't feel like we're in New York when we taste this. I yeah. feel literally. I like feel like yeah. Utah. If it's, this is from Utah, if this is from the Midwest, this is. I feel like I'm there. Yeah, I think this is like I'm have a hankering for like steak or some type of meat, I I like that was brisket, just out of like, like a brisket or maybe some ribs or something. Yeah. But, I could definitely be drinking this while eating something, like, really good. Like, I enjoy... Like, one of the things that I enjoy, like, as you can see, I don't... Ha I haven't drank that much, but mm. I have drank enough. Like, the first time I had it, I was like... I, I like the name, and I was like, oh, screw this. I'm having it for Christmas. It was like a Christmas. Yeah. Uh, I was watching Die Hard, because the Yuppie guy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, I was like... I was watching Die Hard. Uh, I, had, um, I had a Christmas ham, and just watching a movie and enjoying my... Uh, Yippee ki yay, and I thought it was great, and I guess it's like that 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 salted meat or something like it really like it really brings out like some hankering towards something like some 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 sort of steak or some type of cooked meat, but it's it's just an amazing smell. It's it's flavor. It has zero to little burn. Yeah. I don't know why it's discontinued. Oh, uh, and that's the worst thing. Now now just. Remembering what you just said, it is discontinued. Yeah, that, and I can't believe this now. And I think that's probably the hardest thing to to do. Like, I, I take this sparingly I, I, on how I get it, and I get as little as I can out of it. But I enjoy this. There's a lot of bottles that I enjoy, and the problem with like not the problem with those bottles because those bottles I can replace. I love 1920, like. Like the next man, like any other man, the nineteen twenty is is probably in my go tos on a really good Friday night. Yeah, but like when I'm this when this goes, I'm gonna really be sad to see this go because it's not gonna be something I replace. I could get a nineteen twenty, like at, at the liquor store at any other time. Although I my still my nineteen twenty is still the old label, so we'll talk about that in another video yep. with the new label, but. Like seeing something when this goes, like because it's discontinued, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little rough. And like I said, look at the design. It's it's such a nice bottle. It always has a really yeah. good design. And the fact that you have the, that like the, the painting of the cowboy and the bronco and things like that, 
uh, the high OS took it to another level when they did. And it's just one of those things that we appreciate and also feel sad about that it's no longer with us. Okay. You redeem yourself. Or oh, you redeem High West on behalf of EBKIA. Because that uh, American Prairie, I'm sorry, it was just not, I wasn't, I wasn't happy with it. This, definitely, this is a journey. You could, this is something to talk about. You could mention it to somebody and hint those notes to them and let them know that this is a very good. If you're able to find the UPKA, I strongly recommend it. It looks like something that you could talk about in a campfire kind of thing with your friends, with family. This is good. Yeah, like, I really enjoyed this. Uh, like, Double Rise is one of my favorite things to have, like, a mix with. Uh, I gotta have a straight, too. But, uh, like I said, I kind of grew into the High West line, like, to really like a lot of the High West products. And um, this was something I got to experience right before, like, right around the time that it was being discontinued. So, the fact that I was able to find this bottle. I have a full other bottle at home that's completely sealed. And I'm like... Wait a second. Wait, what? Yeah, I have two of these. And really? This, yeah. We'll do a cork open. How about uh, that? That one... That one... <laughs> hey, look. You, gonna you know me. why? If, I, if you're forcing me to open up my Statesman. That's my old Forrester Statesman. That's my no, baby. We can get another Statesman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're not finding these anywhere. These are hard to find. Like, that's a special occasion for me to open up the other one. But, like, I even this one, like, is a very special occasion for me to have. Um, like, if a friend comes over, like, and they're really, like, if a friend comes over and they're really into bourbon, like, like we talk and we can go into, like, really good whiskey talk and, like, I'll be like, hey, you want to try this? If they haven't had it before, no, nah, I'm willing to share. But if you're telling me you just, like, heard of Blanton's, you know, like, you're lucky I'm not giving you an Elijah <laughs> Craig or something like an like old Force 36. I'm just going to be like, hey, here, you're just, just going to enjoy it. No. Like, I like I like to treat the guests with something that they're going to have fun and experience talking. But, like, if you're not, like, really going to be like, hey, you're not you're not really fond of whiskey, I'll, I'll treat you to something really good that we have. We have Eagle Rares, different stuff like that. But if you're really into like something and you've never tried this, I'm going to try to give you a shot at this because, like I said, it's discontinued. It's very hard to get. And if you find it, get it. But I really enjoy it. And it seems that you've enjoyed it a little bit more. I did. No, I, I did. I enjoyed it. I It redeemed itself. I love it. And I, it just so happens to be one that is no longer available. <laughs> so yeah. this is not fair. Yeah. Uh, like I said, we'll drink this at another time. I'll definitely uh, get us uh, get us a couple of more drinks from this from time to time, just because you and you you appreciate it as much as I do. But like I said, I, this is one of those things that I was sad to see go. Hopefully, High West uh, eventually does decide to bring this back uh, once every couple of years, or I don't know. However, they decide. Hopefully, uh, once in a while, we can get a Yippie Kaye and. Be sure in mind, I will be in line for those EPKAs. Okay. And on that note, I want to thank everybody on uh, YouTube. Of Big City Drinks. On Twitter. Big City Drinks. And especially on Instagram. Big City Drinks 1. And I wanted to congratulate you, Alex. 300 followers. Oh, yeah. we. I know it's not... Yeah, That's know. both of us, actually. But... Well, it is the work of both you and me. But definitely, I wanted to congratulate you on your big 300. And I want to thank everybody on Instagram for liking all our pictures, all our videos. And thank you very much. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why we decided to bring something that was discontinued. We like it's something a little bit more of a good occasion. On we reached 300 and we're like, hey, we're going to try to do something nice, something different. And we brought this for, for you guys. Uh, it'll probably go up a little bit more, a little bit less, but we'll see. Uh, we're going to try to keep, whenever we like try to reach a good milestone, we're going to try to try to top it a little bit better. But we're always going to try to give you guys, guys good content, and uh, we're just all uh, thankful that you guys are paying attention. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, this is Big City Drinks. Um, Ace. This is Alex. See ya. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank care.